guys, Lynn Antwi with the Red Carpet Report. We are at the Beverly Hilton for the seventh annual Carrie Foundation Shall We Dance Gala. We are going to talk to a bunch of celebrities, but I want to give you a little secret. If you want to know how everyone has that flawless skin, it's Dr. Grimes. Dr. Grimes is the celebrity dermatologist, and she does everyone. She's bringing all the celebrities out. So come on, let's go check it out. Hello, Brenda. So how are you? I'm great. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you. Lovely. So tell us, what brings you out tonight? Well, I'm performing this evening for Dr. Pearl Grimes, who asked me if I would do this charity function, and I'm thrilled to do it, because anytime I get to, you know, pay it back or, you know, help out, I'm so there for that. And you're kind of a legend in Motown music. What do you think of music today, like the music of this generation? Well, I think there's a lot of talented people out there, and I think we need to put music back in the schools. Hello! so that kids can really learn how to create the music and have music appreciation because they have no idea what happened before they got here. And that's a huge part of the American culture, is especially um, African-American culture. Music is huge, and kids need to know what happened. And it builds upon itself. Yes. You know, it builds upon itself, and I feel like that's what's missing now. It's what are we building off of? You're sampling someone's music, exactly. but you don't even know who that person is? Exactly right, you know, and I, I learned coming up in school, I learned music appreciation. I never had a music lesson. I'm just a self-taught musician. I didn't know that. Already. Yeah, I don't read or anything, but I had music appreciation growing up, and I learned all kinds of music, so that was very helpful in my musical, in my life period. doesn't matter if you're in music. Thank you. Incredible. That means you're like, all, it's all here. Yes. You can just hear it and know what to do. That's exactly right. I, don't, I didn't get that. I used to play the piano. And I, I thought it was very, very good. And then I wanted to skateboard, so then I quit. Isn't that oh. terrible? Oh. Well, you, but you're doing this. I'm doing this, which is great, because now I get to talk a lot, which yeah. I always talk a lot. Yeah. So do you know what you're going to perform? Is it a secret? Yes, I'm doing a piano in the dark. And if only for one night, which is a song I wrote that Luther yes. sang, and Get Here, which is a song I wrote that Olita Adams sang. I love that song. Thank you so I much. I love, 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 love that song. I would ask for a preview, but I don't want to wreck it for everybody. No, can't do that. <laughs> but I will tell you that, um, you know, I co-wrote the musical The Color Purple, and it's opening in London this summer, so I'm going to go over to London and help out. Yeah. I love that. When I graduated from high school, I went to London, and I spent a lot of time in Birmingham, and I was really influenced by the jungle music, yeah. and I cut my hair. Wow. I came back, and my mom was like, what happened? <laughs> what, is, what are those? Because I had, like, the finger wave, oh, just on great. one side, though. And she's like, what happened to you? What, what? And then I was talking with a little accent. That's she's creative. like, stop that. <laughs> That's creative. That's, you have it in your blood. Yeah. Well, I look forward to you tonight. Thank you. Super, super, super talented. I learned something new, which Thank is you. part of the whole music thing that we were talking about. Music back in school. Brenda, <laughs> lovely. You're lovely. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. You? If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. Now, I've told you to like and subscribe before, but I need you to come and like and subscribe. Bye, guys.